What's going on Dolph fans? It is your boy Dylan and I'm here to do one of my quick hit scouting report videos. This one is for the New England Patriots and the New York Jets. Let's jump right into it. So the Patriots absolutely demolished the Jets. Uh, now the Jets were coming off their bye week because um, they took their bye week after their London trip against the, the Falcons. Um, so they're coming off. They were coming off their bye week. They are now one and five. We're obviously tied with them in record. The Patriots are now three and four. They completely blew out the Jets, fifty-four to thirteen. Absolutely demolished them. And when you look at now, look, it's also fair though to note that you know the Jets are a young team with a rookie quarterback who got injured, incidentally too, with a knee injury in this game, and so he's going to be out for at least two to four weeks. Um, and they've they've sustained quite a few injuries. So on top of being a young rebuilding team with a rookie head coach and a rookie quarterback, they've sustained a bunch of injuries, which doesn't help. Anyway, New England put up 551 total yards. The Jets only put up 299, 403 through the air uh, for the Patriots, 237 for the Jets. 148 on the ground for the Patriots and 62 for the Jets. The the, the Patriots had 7.4 yards per play. New York only had 4.9. New York lost a fumble and threw two interceptions. New England did not turn the ball over at all. The Jets let up two sacks. New England let up one. The Jets were 53% on third downs. New England was 58%. New England had the ball for 32 minutes and 12 seconds. The Jets had it for 27.48. Uh, New York had five penalties, and New England had six. Okay, so let's take a little bit deeper dive here. Let's look at a little bit more of these statistics. So, obviously, Mac Jones uh, was 24 of 36 for 307 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Brian Hoyer obviously ended up coming in because they were just blowing these motherfuckers out. So at, at some point, he came in in relief duty, obviously, to prevent possibility of injury. Uh, he, Brian Hoyer was 3 of 4 for 79 yards. And then, obviously, Kendrick Bourne came in for a little trick play or whatever. One for 25 yards and a score. Damian Harris led the way in rushing. 14 rushes for 106 and two touchdowns with a 7-6. J.J. Taylor, um, nine rushes, 21 yards, two touchdowns and a 2-3. And Mac Jones threw in three rushes for 19 yards and a 6-3. Receiving, Brandon Bolden led the way, uh, 6 of 7, 79, and a touchdown. Kendrick Bourne, 4 of 4, 68. Jeanu Smith, 2 of 5 for 52. Nelson Aguilar, 2 of 5 for 51 and a touchdown. Jacoby Myers, 5 of 7 for 44. Jacob Johnson, 2 of 2 for 32. Nikhil Harry, 1 of 2 for 28. Man, they really spread the ball around, huh? Hunter Henry, 2 of 4 for 23 and a touchdown. And Gunnar Oshevsky, 1 for 22. Now, when it comes to the Patriots, yes, we beat them barely in week one. You know, before the season started, um, and, you know, even dating back to the preseason, I had us actually splitting with the Patriots in the season series, but I had it. I had us losing in week one, but winning in week 18 when they come down to uh, Hard Rock Stadium. But... The Patriots are not just by record, but they are definitely the better team, as shitty as it is, as it is to say. And there is some chance that we do lose to them. Um, I, you know, again, there's no guarantee games, um, and we could end up losing to the to the Patriots in Week 18. You know, if things don't change and really start to turn around. So we'll see how that plays out. But anyway, let's move on and let's take a look at the Jets. So Zach Wilson, real quick, he was 6 of 10 and 51 yards, obviously because he sustained that knee injury and didn't play the entire game. Mike White comes in. They actually ended up trading for Joe Flacco after this game too, so that's added context. So Joe Flacco will be in there. Um, and, you know, actually in the first, Zach Wilson might be back and probably will be back because it's supposed to be two to four weeks for Zach Wilson with his PCL injury. Uh, so we'll probably see Zach Wilson in week 15, but in week 11, when we first play the Jets in 
uh, New York, we could be seeing Joe Flacco for that game. Anyway, Mike White was 20 of 32, 202 with one touchdown and two interceptions. Michael Carter led the way in rushing, 11 rushes, 37 yards and a 3-4. Elijah Moore had one rush for 19 yards and a touchdown. Receiving, Michael Carter also led the way there, 8 for 9 and 67. Ty Johnson, 6 of 7 for 65. Corey Davis, 4 of 6 for 47 and a score. Jamison Crowder, 4 of 6 for 34. Ryan Griffin, 1 of 2 for 15. Elijah Moore, 1 of 6 for 13. So as I've said, you know, the Jets are, you know, a young rebuilding team with a rookie head coach, a rookie quarterback. Their quarterback is going to be out for a few weeks because of his injury. They've sustained a bunch of injuries on this team. Um, but either way, though, this Jets team is a team the Dolphins should uh, and could beat. You know, again, as of right now, there are no gimme games. But I, I would still say that this is a game the Dolphins should win, and I will still likely predict, you know, a win against the Jets. Um but, you know, they do have a pretty solid defense, and I have said that I think that they could end up being, over the course of the season, sneaky good, meaning that I think they could probably win, like, five to seven games when it's all said and done. Although, you know, with the way that they keep incurring injuries and so on and so forth, maybe not. So we'll see how that plays out. But either way, like I said, it is definitely a game the Dolphins should win, even with as bad as things have been for us over the first, you know, handful of weeks. So um, let's continue on, though. Let's take a look at these league standings to give a better picture. Now, like I said, the Patriots, I, I, I'm i not so sure that's going to be an easy... Well, it's definitely not going to be an easy game. It's not going to be a gimme game, and they certainly could beat us. But when you look... Now, it's also fair to note that the Jets have played one less game than both the Dolphins and the Patriots. They've still only played six because they've taken their buy and we haven't yet. Um, but, you know, when you look at league standings, there's definitely going to be massive opportunities against the Jets. And again, it's a team that we should beat. We do beat them in a lot of these categories. The Patriots, on the other hand, they tend to beat us in pretty much every category and are the better team. And so, you know, I think that that game, even though I have it as a win on the record, you know, and have had it as a win, that actually could end up being a loss uh, but the, again, the Jets, those still should be two games that we win. But, you know, if the Jets end up being sneaky good, then, you know, one, one or maybe two of their five or so wins could come against the Dolphins. But we hope not, you know. Um, I mean, the, the Colts, we should have won that game. They hadn't won a game until we played them, right? So we gave them their first win. The Jags, a super shitty team, we gave them their first win. You know, we should have beat the Falcons, but they got their win, right? So, you know, again, there's no gimme games right now. And especially as injuries continue to mount up on our team, and especially with, you know, the way I, I think that each and every week this locker room continues to quit on this on, on the coaching staff, well, you know, we'll see. It's just, it's pretty miserable to be a Dolphins fan. <laughs> so, but as you guys already know. So, um, anyway... Let's go ahead and get into these league standings. So the Patriots are currently 13th overall with 2,485 yards. The Jets are 32nd with 1,634. Per game average, the Patriots are 16th with 355. The Jets are 31st with 272.3. Passing the Jet or the Patriots, excuse me, are ninth in total with 1,928. The Jets are 30th with 1,370. Per game average, the Patriots have 275.4, which is 14th. The Jets are 228.3, which is 29th. When it comes to rushing, the Patriots are 24th with 668 total and 95.4 per game. The Jets are currently 32nd. We're 31st so we're not even actually that much better than them and they have played one less game than us so it is what it is but they're 32nd with 432 total and 72 per game the patriots the patriots are 11th in points my mouse sucks the scroll wheel on my mouse sucks so it likes to freak out sorry about that 
The Patriots are 11th in points with 179 total on the season and 25.6 per game. The Jets are 32nd or 29th with ties at 80 total and 13.3 per game. The reason why there's no ties is because for the first 11, there were no ties. Just so you guys know. That's why there's no ties there. Um, anyway, defensively, defensively, the Patriots are 12th in yards, uh, uh, total yards per game with 350.6. The Jets are 27th with 402.5. Passing yards per game, the Patriots are giving up 259.9, which is 15th. 291.8 for the Jets, which is 26th. Rushing yards per game, the Patriots are giving up 11, or 105.6, which is 11th. The Jets are giving up 127.5, which is 25th. Now, again, here, like in most of these statistics, again, there's definitely going to be plenty of opportunity against the Jets and a team that we should be able to beat because they're not very good. Um, they just have to do things better and differently than they did against like the Jags. So they don't lose to a team that they shouldn't lose to the Patriots. They still have a pretty good defense. Although the Jets, they did have a really good defense to start out, but they have been struggling the past few weeks. Injuries, of course, are playing a part of that, but they're still pretty good in some other categories. So they're not going to be, you know, just a complete pushover and of course also to uh division rivals always play you hard anyway points per game the patriots are only giving up 20 which is sixth in the league or fifth with ties the jets are giving up 29.2 which is 29th or 23rd with ties takeaways the patriots have 11 on the season which is currently eighth or fourth with ties included jets have four total takeaways which is 30th uh so Oh, I guess it's only really fumbles that they're pretty good. Oh, and third down percentage. So even with takeaways, the Jets are not very good. So again, we should be able to capitalize on all of this stuff and come away with the win. Uh, but their 30th or 11th with ties. Interceptions, the Patriots have eight on the season, which has them currently ranked at sixth or fourth with ties. The Jets have zero. They're actually the only team that still does not have an interception recorded. That's 32nd in the league, but 12th when you include ties. Uh, fumbles, the Patriots have three, which is 16th or sixth with ties. The Jets have four, which is ninth, so they're decent when getting fumbles. Uh, fifth with ties included. Sacks, the Patriots have 15, which is 15th in the league or seventh with ties included. 14 for the Jets, which is 22nd or eighth with ties. Passes defense, the Patriots have 30, which is 10th or fourth with ties. 23 for the Jets, which is 25th or 10th with ties. And third down conversion percentage, uh, the Patriots are giving up 41.7, which is 20th, and the Jets are giving up 39, which is 14th. So, yeah. And then, of course, as always, here is just a quick look at the Dolphins' current offensive and defensive league standings, just so you can compare. Again, just real quick, the Jets, we absolutely should be, you know, uh, let's see if they can do it. Um, and the Patriots at this point, I'm not so sure that we get that win at the end of the season, but hopefully we do. Um, we just, I don't know. It's, it's a mess. It's a mess. Anyway. So real quick, before I get out of here, let me make sure to remind you about the Ravon sports app, the new fan driven sports app. Looking to enhance your game day experience with live play-by-play -play coverage, live chats with other fans and content creators like myself. And make sure you check out in the description box for the links for that. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys appreciate my perspective. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Share my channel and videos with your friends and family. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comment section. Of course, as always, follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartero. And with that, I am out. I'll see you all soon. Fins up.